students now discuss about advantage of silom over pseudo silom okay what about the additional advantages presence of this silom than the pseudo silom in the animals okay in this advantages of the u silom true silom peri visceral cavity present in the animals this visceral organs become muscular okay visceral organs are becomes into muscular due to the attachment of the covering of the mesoderm layer okay mesoderm is present this is the mesoderm is attaches to the visceral organs attaches to the all the visceral organs are surrounds with the peritoneal layer of the mesoderm surrounds with the mesodermal epithelium okay because of attachment of the mesoderm with the visceral organs or the internal organs these are becomes into muscular okay and uh, these are the organs because presence of the muscles shows the contraction and the relaxation moves freely in the body cavity or true silom in the animals okay students next for example if you observe peristaltic movement of elementary canal elementary canal or the food tube shows the peristaltic movement which is helpful for the digestion of the physiological digestion and chemical digestion of the food particles and uh, easily passage of the digestive food particles through the lumen of the food tube okay student this is possible by the attachment of the mesoderm to the food tube okay because of presence of the these are the peristaltic movement of the food tube possible by the presence of the muscles okay in the food tube muscles are formed by the attachment of the mesoderm with the food tube next student gametes released into silom gametes are released into the silom in some of the animals mostly in female vertebrates in some female vertebrates female vertebrates vertebrates are from the these are the vertebrates students animals are called vertebrates why these are called vertebrates having the backbone having the vertebral column at the dorsal position of the animal some amount of the female vertebrates with the absence of the gonoducts gonoducts ducts means tube like arrangement that transfers the gametes ovaries testes produces gametes these are reaches into the target place via the gonoducts ducts of the gametes okay these are the absence in some female vertebrates gonoducts are absent but gametes are releases from the reproductive organs ovary such as ovary and the testis these are reaches into the entered into the silo entered into the silo by the presence of the body cavity or the true silo it receives gametes from the silo receives gametes from the reproductive organs due to the absence of the gonoducts next third one silomic fluid receives excretory products before elimination student if you observe in non chordates non chordates means these are not chordate animals these are invertebrates from the porifera phylum porif animals belongs from the phylum porifera to the hemichordata without chordates non chordates phylum porifera to the hemichordata in some animals in some animals in non chordates 
Excretory products. Excretory products. Excretory products means nitrogenous wastage products. Ammonia, urea, uric acid like that. Okay. These are the excretory products are and also excess amount of the waste material, excess amount of the water, undigested food particles. These are the excretory products because these are uh, eliminate from the body. Excretory products uh, receives by coelomic fluid. Coelomic fluid receives excretory products and uh, before the el their elimination, before these are they, these are sent outside, exit outside from the body. These are stores in the coelomic fluid in the some of the non chordates it is a, one of the advantage of the true coelom u coelom than the pseudo coelom okay next fourth one mesoderm contact with the endoderm of gut cause regional specialization of the gut okay sir mesoderm in these animals animals which shows the true coelom u coelom which is developed from the mesoderm layer. In this, mesodermal epithelium is closely contact with the food tube or the gut or the elementary canal. Okay, and uh, some amount of the regional specializations is also developed because of attachment of the mesoderm to the mesoderm to the elementary canal or the food tube. Food tube is attached with the mesoderm, mesodermal layer, and it causes the development of the some amount of the specialization, some amount of the organs within the elementary canal. Student, for example, development of the gizzard, it is observed in some animals like birds. Birds elementary canal also shows the gizzard. Helps in digested food particles. It is mainly helps in physical digestion, physical digestion of the food particles and stomach, stomach. Human digestive system is also shows elementary canal also with the stomach. Stomach stores the food up to the two hours approximately. These are the these are the gizzard stomach availability of these pores in the food tube. These are possible by the attachment of the mesoderm with the food tube in the development of the silo. This is the development. This is the development cause primary induction. Primary induction. Induction means it is the first development causes another further developments further specialization next specializations okay appearance of the appearance of the gizzard stomach in the food tube these are called primary induction okay and uh, such type of the primary induction, such type of the specializations is all absent in animals which shows the pseudocelom. But it is absent in pseudocelomates. Okay, student? These are all the advantages are present in the animals which shows the eucelo and uh, these are absent in the animals which shows the pseudocelom. Okay, student? And... Uh, in the pseudocelomates, gut wall is very simple. Such type of the complexity, such type of the complexity in the food tube is absent. Okay. Next, another students, this is the differentiation of the animals which shows the different types of the coelom, different types of the symmetry, different types of the levels of organization this is the table like arrangement student if you observe this one which shows the levels of organization in animals symmetry in animals body cavity in animals animals belongs from the different phylums 
this kingdom metazoa metazoa means multicellular animals next students metazoa shows two types of the levels of organization mainly one is cellular level organization tissue level organization and it is also with organ level and organ system level organization next symmetry student symmetry two types of the symmetry mainly shows by the animals okay symmetry is absent in cellular level organization mostly okay cellular level organization present in porifera phylum porifera next tissue level organization organ system level organization organ level organization these are the animals shows two types of the symmetry one is radial symmetry and the one is bilateral symmetry the students radial symmetry available in animals belongs from the phylum nidaria phylum tenophora next bilateral symmetric animals bilateral symmetric animals shows by acelomates pseudocelomates schizocelomates enterocelomates these are the bilaterally symmetric animals having different types of the coelom acelom pseudocelom eucelom eucelom divided into two types schizocelom enterocelom students radial symmetry present in animals belongs from the phylum nidaria phylum tenophora acelom acelom present in animals belongs from phylum platyhelminthes pseudocelom pseudocelom present in animals belongs from the phylum nematoda nematoda is the phylum is also called askelminthes next students schizocelom present in animals from the phylum annelida phylum arthropoda phylum mollusca next enterocelom enterocelom present in animals from the phylum echinodermata phylum hemichordata and chordata okay sir these are the names of the phylum in the metazoa kingdom this different types of the symmetry student this different types of the symmetry different types of the body cavity this one is and symmetry two types of the symmetry in animals this is levels of organization this is the kingdom animalia